What's going on my fellow residents, it's me the Frozen Cavern and today we're going to continue through our journey through Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In the last episode, we got into the Pride Lands and met up with Simba, and by the way, Sora's mouth here is really dumb. I never really noticed this, but I don't like that that's that his mouth is just open during the idle animation. But anyways, we need to see what that noise was, and again, if you haven't seen The Lion King, go watch it please. Like, I can understand you not seeing a lot of Disney movies, but when it comes to Disney movies, if you ha somehow have not seen The Lion King, just go see it. It's Nala. Don't you recognize her? Nala? It's me, Simba. Simba! You are alive! Hey, what's going on here? Okay, to be honest, the movie did that scene way better than the game did. Well, this game did. Don't worry. They're all friends of mine. So that means nobody's planning to eat anybody else for lunch, right? Are you sure they don't want to eat me? Like I'm some kind of pig? We won't, but you are a pig, right? Call me Mr. Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys excuse us for a few minutes? Why am I not surprised? Simba. You've got to come back to Pride Rock. I thought Sora might be able to help, but you're the only one who can save us from Scar. I can't go back. Why? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Sometimes bad things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Simba? Well, I mean, that lesson is still good. You're just taking it the wrong way. Hakuna? Matata! Hakuna? Matata! He's not the Simba I remember. Something about Hakuna Matata. By the way, that whole little segment there pretty much was not needed at all had literally no relevance, it was just added in. That transitioned very fast, unless this is a flashback, my which I'm assuming it is. And it's because of me. It's my fault. I can't go back. It won't change anything. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you, and so will I. Father, are you there? Simba, you have forgotten who you are. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You know, honestly, I feel like there would have been more effect if there was like an echo there, but... I'm going back to face my past. I could use your help. He really is a king. And lens flare. That's nice. Yeah, this game likes to use lens flare like a lot. And finally, we can change our keyblade for the first time in forever. And I was not trying to quote a Disney song there. But <laughs> regardless, 
Now we have Simba as a ally, and that can go last. Turn off auto limit because I don't like those. What am I missing in the items? Uh, oh, I forgot that I even got that. Okay, I should probably equip that in one of these segments, I think. Yeah, there. And then I, what was it? Was that strength? Yeah, it was strength, so I can give this to Goofy, I think. Uh, there we go. Oh, goodness. I, I have a good amount of stuff I need to sell, actually. And then I think you're good? Because I... Well, you're good in the sense that I have nothing better. <laughs> so... Uh... Eh, that should be fine. Having Donald would actually benefit me more, too. Concerning some of the heartless in this world aren't exactly the, uh... the kindest ones. You know, aside from when we're absolutely destroying them, now that we have Simba by our side. So, speaking of which, hopefully some particular enemies will be easier to defeat than uh, last time. Oh, we actually managed to level up, which is weird because, like, the last episode did not level up once. Didn't... I don't really know if there's many times where that happens, but just that one time we didn't level up. Alright, let me get this since I missed out on it in the last episode because I was not trying to fight those uh, heartless until uh, Ty wanted to hurt myself or something. Uh, but now uh, taking down the rest of these guys is way easier because those... Uh... Hold on. Well, no, I, I'm not going to check the name. That's going to be pointless, but the heartless from last episode, they're not here anymore. So, well, at least for now. So, yay! That's fun. These these monkey guys, they're not exactly that difficult either. Thankfully. But they can be if they manage to get too much of a hold on you. Especially during their like invincibility phase. Like that. When they're just the uh, face. But Simba Simba is great for like holding enemies in place. Uh, okay, I thought I missed that chest, but while Simba is good for, like, holding enemies down and making sure that you can actually kill them safely, he's honestly probably, like, the most boring one out of the entire, uh, like, party cast. He's pretty generic when it comes to his attacks. I did not mean to use that. I was trying to jump, but I accidentally tapped L1 when I did. Uh, I mean, we have plenty of items to go around, so... Speaking of which, I forgot to take them off of Simba. Whoops, let me do that and hopefully he hasn't used up all of them. I feel like he's used up any ethers he had. Alright. There we go. Uh, let me see what you got. Oh, nothing. So you probably used everything you had. Yay. Uh, those are some potential items that are gone now. Ooh, once more, uh, am I able to get rid of anything that I won't really miss all that much? Actually, I have AP boos. What am I talking about? Uh, I need four. Uh, there we go. Uh, now, not that. There we go. Yeah, just using the AP boost for whenever necessary. I know most people usually just give them all the sore, but I like to have them a little bit more spread out. Wait a minute, we're gonna fight your uncle for this? Yes, Timon. This is my home. And now we are going to save your home. I thought we had to go over here, but I guess not. Maybe we do, and this is just a cutscene. Like, before I'm able to actually move. Or not. Okay, we're just gonna be teleported over here. Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member, Simba. I've put the past behind me. 
But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. <laughs> now, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. Here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Again, the movie did that seem better. Tell them the truth. All right, all right. I did it. Louder. I killed Mufasa. <laughs> Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. And in the short time that we had Simba, we now lose him. And now we have to fight against... Goodness, what are their names? I know Ed's one of them, but... Shanzi and Bonsai, that's their names. <laughs> but, anyways, this little mini-boss, pretty easy. And it's fun, quote-unquote. I mean, it's kind of random, and it's really just mashing the X button over and over until you actually win, but... And then also make sure, no, making sure you call over Timon and Pumbaa so that they don't get damaged. Because if they take too much damage, they, I guess, end up dying. So that the uh, that counts as a game over for you. So we need to make sure that does not happen. And fortunately enough, most of the time, just pressing triangle is enough to actually uh, move them out of the way. Even if it's actually just, like, not even that much. Just, like, an inch away from them still counts. Which doesn't exactly make the most sense. By the way, using Thunder on these guys is actually, like, really good, because it just knocks them into the air, which means free, uh, combos. But they do have, like, a... Wow, that actually did half of my health, but, uh, they do have, like, some form of, uh... Hit count, I guess? From where they automatically just knock back, so... Need to be cautious about that. And we all know where that is. Most of us, at least. Are you kidding me? That's like one of the easiest ones to get. Please, there we go. This is his fight, Donald. But yeah, again, this uh, this movie was extremely downgraded. Granted, I can understand there not being so much fire here, because that would completely destroy the scene because of all the lag that would probably be there. Keep in mind, this game originally came out on PS2, so have to consider that. You're okay. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Oh, well, I guess this is the other scene with Pete. Anger and jealousy turned the king of Pride Rock into a heartless. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness. That's what you think. Yeah, so we're not fighting Scar, we're fighting his Heartless. Which is basically, like, I guess the only way Square said, Hey, we still kind of need them to fight Scar.
because there's literally no one else that they can fight as the actual boss of the world. So, uh, what do we do? Because <laughs> after he... Well, in the movie, he didn't really die that way. He was thrown off... Well, he kind of did end up dying that way. But in the movie, what ended up happening, well, happening was he was thrown off and then the hyenas killed him. But uh, in here, it just looks like he just got... Uh, thrown off and I guess the impact of the fall killed him and then his heartless just came back by the way he does a lot of damage so uh yeah I need to be careful about that by the way you can literally just stand here and you won't take damage as he just jumps over you uh and I think I need to time it correctly so that when I attack him the uh, ow the fire won't well he won't like activate the fire or whatever and I could just knock him into the air for a combo but I mess it up entirely so not gonna have to worry too much about that by the way make sure you're ready to uh, press the triangle button whenever he lunges onto you because if you don't you will be taking a lot of damage I already said that he deals a lot of damage in this fight anyways but trust me it, it does a lot by the way this thunder is actually really annoying because it's impossible to actually like get close to him so you can attack him which, you know, that's fun, considering you have to attack him in order to, you know, beat the boss. Uh, Let's use this. Je as, as soon as I use it. As soon as I use it. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit. There we go. And now we actually attack. Ow. Yeah, he can break out of our combos, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to do too much damage. But fortunately enough, like I said before, we can just stand in one place and we're fine. Okay, now this attack. Oh goodness, this attack. It's somewhat wonky when it comes to actually dodging it because you have to use your dash, the dash, dash ability. But it's, you kind of get lucky with dodging it, to be honest. My goodness, stop. But... There will be times where I actually do end up dodging it the first time he goes around, and then he'll just, like, rear-end me with, like, the end of the uh, his dash. But, oh, goodness. This thunder part makes the fight extremely slow, because, like I said before, can't exactly get in, because thunder is blocking his every move. Even if he's not moving. Get over here. Actually, okay, you're not going to heal me, okay then, that's nice, even though I waited before and you didn't heal me then. To be fair, I don't really know who uh, did that, but it's still annoying. My goodness, I'm not doing much damage either, <laughs> so I didn't really notice that until now, but my attacks weren't doing that much, and no one here has MP. Uh, nope, using that. Need to use that for safety. Mike, it also doesn't help when he just turns randomly, which he normally never really does, but for some reason he just did. Alright, get him. Yeah, he, he has a lot of super armor for some odd reason. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm under level, but this fight probably takes a lot longer than normal. Uh, there we go. Somehow managed to get in properly. But thunder rains down occasionally, so you might just get struck by lightning for no reason. Oh, goodness. Do I need to use another thing? Or, yep. Gonna have to use it for safety. Yeah, I'm using the most potions in this fight out of any other. But yeah, as you saw, that took out half my health. Okay, stay away from me, Scar. That's not good. Uh, get him now. He's on his last health bar. I really hope I don't die. Thank you, Donald, for waiting five years to heal me. Alright, he's almost dead. Oh, uh, you're just zapping with thunder. Oh, goodness. That was actually a decently stressful fight. That was the most times I've actually used potions in a single fight.
Yeah, since there's no actual object for there to be a keyhole, I guess Mufasa is just the keyhole. I guess. For some reason. That or he just randomly appears out of the sky because it never actually shot up out of anything. What's with the light show? We have to say goodbye for a little while. I'll go tell Simba. Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's going to be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Yes, so. What do you mean, yes, so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? One well, look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast. Same thing! And I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Boomba! You can never forget your true buddies. That's some pretty deep stuff, you know, even though considering you don't actually have to complete this world or even go to this world in order to beat the game. There's a few worlds in the game. I know it's this one, Atlantica... I think Olympus? I might be wrong there. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, there's a new episode in Olympus, but we're not going there yet. Remember when Twilight Town was mentioned, like, maybe two episodes ago? Yeah, we have to go back there. It's gonna be fun, but... We'll leave that in the next episode. We might do Olympus Coliseum in the next episode, actually. Not entirely sure. But until the next video, take care.